Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we're going to be checking out Heart of the Country. This one was designed by one of my subscriber's sons, Mr. Bellamy. His son is only 13 years old, guys, so let's take this into consideration when we're checking this course out. Uh, it is a par 71, fairways are firm, greens are normal and green speed is medium fast. So let's check this out. We do have three tee options. We are playing off the blue tees, which are playing 7,592 yards and pin selection number one. He goes on to say that his son's favourite YouTubers are myself and Tim Wilson UK. If you don't know about Tim, go and check out his videos and his channel. He's got some great content there. Like I say, Tim Wilson UK. He is starting a new channel like, uh, very shortly, guys. So look out for that one. So the first hole is a par four. Nice drive here, this should bounce well along the firm fairways. So it's a 496 yard par 4 stroke, index 7. Greens are normal. So 198 yards to the flag, we are on a slope. 5 mile per hour wind. Slope should take us to the left. It took me more to the left than I allowed for. I was trying to avoid that bunker. But that's going to be almost in the back left of the green there. So it's probably going to be a long putt here for birdie. A 20 foot putt for birdie. Slightly uphill. Greens are playing 160 guys. Just going to turn to the right hand side this one. Good weight in this. Oh, just short and right of the pin. So we're going to have a, a three foot putt for the power save, which we managed to drain into the center of the hole. But as always, guys, I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's continuing to support the channel. It is fantastic what you guys do. And uh, I really appreciate it. So hole two is a power three, 188 yards, stroke index 13, way below. So we're going to have to drop I'm going to say two clubs here. I'm going to come down to the the seven iron here, guys. I reckon if we hit the front of the green, maybe even the start of the fairway, this might turn down towards the cup, downhill. Just going to let the wind take me to the right-hand side of the flag here. This one's a beauty. Come on, it says it breaks to the right. Keep going. Oh, it's just checked up short. I thought it might have uh, run on or released a bit better than that. So we're going to have a downhill putt turning to the right. 17 foot, down 4 inches. Need that to start to turn. Oh, it has done. And that is a great birdie putt there, guys. And that is the first birdie of the round. And we do move to one under par. But so far... Very impressed, guys. Like I say, I did not know what to expect when I uh, teed up in the first hole here. But so far, quietly, um, quietly impressed. Looks like it could be a tricky course. Fairways are narrow. Some of the greens, the breaks and the greens are, are fairly tough. But that is a good strike here. That should find the centre of the fairway. And just short and right of the bunker. I wasn't sure if we were going to reach the bunker, but there's your answer, guys. With similar wind conditions with me, you will not reach it. But this is a long par 4, stroke index 5, and it is playing 549 yards. Three weeds going to be too long here, guys. Just going to try and get up on the left-hand side of this green here. Maybe run on to the front edge, or at worst, leave myself a chip shop. A chip shop? I wouldn't mind a chip shop, actually. It's been ages since I had a, a chip uh, fish and chips or whatever you order from the, the chipper. But there we go, guys. We're just short. So that should be a chip shot. 17 yards. Just going to set this out to the right of the flag. See if we can get it running up towards the pin. Is it going to release? It did release. Arguably, it released a bit more than I would have liked. But we're probably going to have about a four to five foot All putt right, for birdie. Six foot. And we do manage to convert that for the birdie. But yeah, so far quite a tricky demanding course, but I really like it. 
So hole four is a par four, playing 506 yards, stroke index nine. So it is a long course, guys. Majority of these par fours so far have been really, really long. The wind should start to take us round. It has done. And we are probably going to be on the left-hand side of the fairway here once we nestle up. So another good solid drive, 302 yards. These firm fairways do give you good run out. So let's really loft this six wood up here, guys. And see if we can just get this landing on the green as soft as possible. That is a good strike. Someone's gonna need to bite. Ah, it's going to be long. Just too much club there, I do guess. Too much club. So we are going to be left with a chip shot from the, from the light rough. 14 yards. See if we can get this one close. I've not been playing my chip shots to the best of my ability recently. Normally one of my strong points in my game, but not a chip in on a, a four or five rounds, I don't think. That should run on a bit. Oh, really amazed that checked up so quick coming out the light rough. But we are going to have a four foot putt for the par save. So, good up and down there from the, the light rough behind the green. And we are going to remain one under, guys. So, so far, the course is um, playing pretty tricky. I seem to, be, seem to be in between a lot of clubs. So, hole five is a long par five, playing 600 yards, stroke index 17, which means it's the second toughest hole on the course. Just looking to kick out onto the, the fairway from the rough here. Once again, quite a tough drive. Very, very hard to find the, the fairways consistently on here so far. This should kick out downhill and hopefully run on to the center of the fairway. And that is a really good shot, guys. Really, really happy with that one. Played that really, really well. Done exactly what I wanted it to do. So 287 yards. We can make this. This is downhill. Just going to play like a punch shot. Keep it low, below the wind. And hopefully it kicks on towards the green. It is a good strike, good execution. We are swinging well these past four or five rounds. That needs to start checking up. Should do on the normal greens. Oh, we must have found a slope. That's all I can imagine there, guys. We must have found a slope, and we're surely going to have an uphill putt here. Wow. 296 yards, that three wood went. Why? We've got a downhill yeah, putt. 28 feet down four inches for the eagle. So, fairly surprised at that then. So good eagle opportunity here, guys. This one's probably going to be on the weight. Don't want to overhit it because it's downhill. It is breaking both ways. Start to turn back towards the cup. Have we got enough legs on it? No, we didn't. I think if we hit that a bit firmer, Fantastic. it would have held its line and maybe gave us the eagle there. But we're going to have a simple one foot tap in putt for the birdie, which we managed to get. So, we are now two under par, guys, and going along solid. So, hole six is a long par three, playing 208 yards, stroke index one, toughest hole on the course. I think five iron is going to be the club here. Let's get this running up towards the flag again. It is going to turn to the left-hand side, just lofting this up a few touches. I'm sure we've got enough club here to reach. This should be really, really good. This should be good. This should break to the left now, according to the green grid. Come on, turn. Tell you what, is this going to drop? This has got a chance. Oh, wow, so close to the ace there, guys. Two feet away from the ace. Fantastic shot there. Played that really well. And that is an easy tap in for the birdie. And we are now at three under par. Three under for the round. So two consecutive birdies. Seven. Hole seven is a par four. 492 yards, stroke index 11. Oh, don't think we can hit driver here. That bunker is calling out for the driver. So three wood. Let the wind take us round. Very mild wind conditions, guys. It's been a while since I've played in 
in these uh, mild conditions. And we've played that well. 100% the right club there, guys. Driver with the tour clubs, definitely in the bunker unless you get a very, very good break. So a longer shot left, 205 yards. Like I say, these par fours are long. This one's 492 yards, this hole number seven, stroke index 11. So basically fully lofting up this four hybrid here, guys. Let's get this landing softly on this green. This is tracking well. This should sit down really, really quick for me. And we've played that really, really well. We're probably going to have a five to six foot putt for birdie here. That is a fantastic approach shot, by the way. So five footer. Just going to turn slightly to the left. We'll play this with a bit firm. Wait on it to take the break. Oh my goodness, guys, that turned a lot more than I think it suggested, to be fair. So that was a poor putt for me. I do think that turned a bit more than it suggested. But not to worry, we do manage to pick up the part. But disappointed that we didn't drop the birdie there. So I think the current course record is 8 under, guys. So let's see if we can beat that. We're certainly playing well enough to, to shoot and eat it. So hole number 8 is a par 5. 523 yards stroke index 3. Two options here. Let's go down the left-hand side. I think that will give us the the easier shot and the closer shot into the green. Good strike again. Looks like you'll be in the short stuff here. This should kick to the left. Are we going to hold the fairway? Come on, sit down. That is a great shot. The fairways are very, very narrow here, guys. Like I say, this is quite a challenging course. So, 188 yards to the flag, up 35 feet. Five of iron is definitely club. Just going to take a bit off of this, guys, and see if we can get this running on towards the green up the slope. It's another good strike. Looks like this, is a beauty. this should be good. Oh, I think I'm going to be a bit long here. Hit the flag. Oh, we have managed to hit the flag there. That was a bit fortunate there, guys, because I do feel that ball was probably going to go right through the green there. So a good bit of fortune there. And that is going to leave us with a nine-foot putt for Eagle. Quite an aggressive break to the left. Now, these are the putts I normally miss. Is it going to turn? Oh, it does. It does turn. So we do manage to pick up an Eagle there after the disappointment of missing that five-foot birdie on the previous hole so hole nine is a par four stroke index 15 playing 428 yards we're easily going to be able to uh, get over the top of this bunker it's another good hit and this should be another drive it's past 300 yards you are really getting good drive distances here guys with the firm fairways which does Shorten the, the long par fours and par fives. So 121 yards. Gat wedge is definitely the club here, guys. I am clubbing down due to the... Just going to loft it up a touch as well. The green is sloping down towards the cup there, as you can see. Hopefully this sits down quickly for me. Give me a firm bounce and sit. Didn't get the firm bounce I was looking for, but fortunately it did nestle up quite quickly and we've got an eight foot putt. Just going to turn to the right one. So just the left edge. And we do manage to drain another birdie, guys. So we're going along nicely here. Solid front nine, guys. Six under. Six under in the front nine. If we can match that in the back nine, we will and get the new course record. Right. So hole 10 is a par 3, playing 173 yards, stroke index 8. Don't think this course has had a lot of plays. I'd like to say 16, 17 plays. So let's get out there and play this, guys. It's a fun course. Fairly challenging. So I'm just de-lofting the 8 iron here, guys. Looking to just get over that front edge of the green. If you hit that, will kill any momentum of your ball. And this should be good. Hit this. Oh, it's another one we've hit the flag. Guys, we've been so close to two aces in this round so far. So things are are going in the right direction. And we do manage to convert that putt for another birdie. So we are now seven under par. 
Seven. One shot off the current course record. So hole 11 is another monster par 5, 637 yards, stroke index 2. Second toughest hole on the, the course according to the stroke index. This should be another drive that is past 300 yards I would imagine. So way past 300 yards. And I tell you what, the young man has created a really, really good course here, guys. For being 13 years old, I am really, really impressed. So once again, I'm confident we can run onto the green here. Just going to loft up this free wood. Let this kick onto the green. It's another good strike. And this should be good. This should be good. This could give us another eagle opportunity here, guys. If this turns, come on. It's another fantastic approach shot, guys. We played some fantastic approach shots on the greens today. And we're now left with a 12-foot putt. Three inches down. It is going to turn to the left, this one. Just going to touch this one. Oh, it's... Oh, we just missed the edge. And I'll tell you what, that has trickled. Wow. I'm going to say that's went about nine feet past. Ten feet past there. That was a poor putt. This one looks fairly straightforward for the birdie. Gonna play this with a good weight. And it does hold its line and we do manage to get the birdie. Should have got that eagle there though, guys. That approach shot deserved an eagle, but not to worry. We are eight under par, guys. So we are currently matching the current course record that I looked at the leaderboard before we started the round. So hole 12 is a par four. Short par four this time, 405 yards, stroke index 10. Should be basically looking at 90 yards. If we get a good tee shot here, probably going to be a bit All right, looking good so far. Sam wedge into this green, I would imagine. Once again, good drive. We have managed to break that 300 yard marker. So I'm going to guess it's going to be about a Sam wedge. Yeah, Sam wedge, there it is. Into the wind, six mile per hour wind. Just going to deal off this twice, guys. The wind will hold it up. That's tracking way left. That's going way to the left here. Uh, yardage was going to be half decent, too. But we just went more left of the flag than I uh, anticipated the wind to take us. So a 13-foot putt. It's going to break slightly to the right. Down one inch. Is it going to turn? It does, and we do manage to drop a birdie there, guys. So the putting has been really, really good today. Long may it continue. It is a weak point in my game, as all of you know. I'm just not a very good putter consistently. So this is a short par four. Let's see. Can we... Just going to try and draw this over the top of this tree here, guys. Shortest par four to the, the round jet. It's only playing 358 yards. We've executed that well. We're not going to run onto the green. A few more yards and we might go over the top of that hill and then start hitting the down slope. But we're going to be left with a flop shot here. 33 yards down seven feet. So let's go for the... Let's see. Just going to deal off the 25-yard flop. Let it run out. I've pushed that right. Didn't run out as much as I would have liked, but we're probably going to be left with about a 9-foot putt. 10-foot putt for birdie. Once again, not much in this. And we do manage to drop that for another birdie, guys. So we are we are playing really, really well here so far. And we are now 10 under par. Going along solid here. Hole 14. It is another par 4, stroke index 18, playing 419 yards. So, easiest hole in the course so far. Just going to apply a touch of fade. Take on this corner here, the slight dog leg right. We're going to take it on. It looks like a good line. This should release out into the middle of the fairway. It has done. And once again, it's another monster drive on these firm fairways. So once again, 101 yards downhill. 
6 mile per hour wind, this slope's going to take us to the right here as well. Just lofting up the sand wedge one touch here. That wind's not moving me at all. That slope didn't take me round as much as I expected it to, but the yardage was bang on, guys. And once again, we're going to have our six to seven foot putt for birdie. Seven foot putt for birdie, down three inches. Going to turn to the right. That should turn. It does. So the putter is really on fire, guys, but I am giving myself makeable birdie putts. And we do get to an 11 under par. Great round so far. Really enjoying this. Hole 15 is another long par 4, playing 513 yards, stroke index 4. But no idea why it gave me the, the 6 wood off the tee there. So as you can see, we can comfortably hit driver. That's nestled up right in the middle of the fairway, 290 yards down. So a longer shot into the green this time, 220 yards up 12 feet into this wind once again going to fully loft up almost fully loft up this six wood the four hybrid would have us in the bunker this could be good if it sits for me sit down oh just didn't sit down well there's scusby scored a hole in one so fantastic uh shot there from scusby it must have been so congratulations and get on the the ace there, um, David Dykefire, well done. So a 17 foot putt. Downhill again, slight turn to the right. I don't think I've hit this. We did hit it. I thought I'd under hit it there halfway through, but we just didn't allow enough for the break. And that's going to put an end to the, the birdie trail on the back nine. And that is the first par, I do believe, of the back nine. And we're going to remain at 11 under par. So, hole number 16 is another monster par 4, playing 569 yards, stroke index 6. Oh, severe dog leg right here. Is there a way more direct that we can... Nah, no chance. Would get nowhere near. Nah, there's nothing there, so we are going to have to take on the easier route. We should kick out of the rough here guys onto the fairway I'm hoping. So it is a severe dog leg right here. But so far guys I'm really enjoying this course for a, a 13 year old young man to come up with this. It's, it's very creative and I do like it. Um, I think it plays quite tough. It's hard to say if I've had a really good round here or it's an easy course, but um, going by the fairways, some of the greens, some of the shots you've got to, to uh, be creative with, I think this could be quite a difficult course for some players. I'm obviously just having a good round here. So loft it up far of iron slightly here. Just looking for this to run on from off the green. This should be a great shot. Oh, look how much speed that's picked up. Wow. That's probably going to go off the green. Wow. No idea what other kind of shot I could have played there then, guys. Very, very surprised that didn't sit down on the green. So 15-yard chip shot. This one is going to turn to the right. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it didn't turn at all. Didn't turn at all. Decent weight in that chip shot. Three feet to the hole. So we're just going to have a three foot putt for the part. And we right, do so manage to convert that. And that'll keep you, uh, that'll keep you at so the birdies have dried up the last two holes. But okay. some tough holes in this course guys. Hole 17, par 3, 177 yards, stroke index 12. 7 iron. Come on. Oh, just didn't get it up past that edge there. And the wind took me round slightly more than I did a life for. But I was hoping that we could have got on there. Because you've seen that the green does. This severely breaks to the left. This is a tough putt. Come on. Keep going. Should start to turn. 
Very, very happy with that part there, guys. Despite just lacking the, a few more feet, we read it really well. But I just tried to get that 7 iron past that ridge there, and I think that would have been another good shot. But really enjoyed my time here out in this course, guys. Let's go into the final hole of this really fun testing course. So it is hole 18, par 4, 350 yards, stroke index 14. Just going to try and keep this below the wind again. And this one, if we play it well, should probably be a pitch shot, I would imagine. It's another monster drive. I think we're going to be left in the region about 50 yards here. So it should be a pitch shot. Oh, we're closer. 38 yards. So let's look for... Let's see, up 11 feet... It's going to take a bit of loft off of this 35 yard. Hopefully it's the club. Bounce on, check up. Didn't get any spin back, we played that well and that should give us an easy tap in for the birdie. A little three footer. Which we execute well guys. So we've, we've smashed the course record which was currently 8 under. We've managed to shoot a 59, 12 under par. I'm going to give that a 4 star guys. Let's take into consideration the young man is 13. I think this is only his first or second course. If you like this video, guys, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.